Just 10 years ago, Parks Canada identified significant damage to Grossmore National Park in western Newfoundland. Forests were severely degraded. Vegetation was depleted to the point that animals were being forced out. The reason? Moose overpopulation. The government correctly solved the problem by allowing hunters into the park to harvest thousands of moose. As a result, the population was brought back into balance. Nature quickly rebounded and the forest recovered. So what about the seals that are destroying our ocean ecosystem? Unlike seals, moose are not the poster child used by animal rights groups to get donations. And the federal government just doesn't want to stand against them. Well, I think that of uh, all the animals in the world or any environmental uh, problem in the world, harp seal is the easiest issue to uh, raise funds on. The seal uh, hunt has always turned a profit for the Greenpeace Foundation. And then other organizations like uh, IFAW, API, Fund for Animals also uh, make a profit off of uh, the seal. Well, it's definitely because it's easier to make money and because it does make a profit because there are over a thousand animals on the endangered species list and the seal isn't one of them. See, the thing is, the seal is very easy to uh, exploit as an image. We have uh, posters, we have buttons, we have shirts, all of which portray the head of a baby seal with uh, uh, tears coming out of its eyes. And that's how it will stay, until we decide to use the truth, to fight with the truth, to stave off an impending disaster caused by a dangerous imbalance in our ocean ecosystem.